Rusty's are an Irish gang that come from Midtown Manhattan on the west side, which is now, which is called Hell's Kitchen. It was a big Irish neighborhood. I mean, Irish immigrants settled in there many, 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 many years ago. Um, and they were just a bunch of wild Irish guys that took over the Upper West Side. I mean, they ran everything up there. Um, they were affiliated with uh, the Mafia. I mean, Paul Castellano took them in when Jimmy Coonan became the boss of the Westies. Uh, Paul Castellano inherited them. And they were with him, with the Gambino family. When he was murdered, John Gotti inherited them. They were always directly with the boss. Um, Roy DeMeo handled them at one point for Paul Castellano. And then when he was murdered, John Gotti took over. And Danny Marino, who was a captain with the Gambino family, he started servicing them. And they were a branch of the Gambino family. So they kicked up to Danny Marino, who was servicing them. And they made money with the Gambino family. Um, how the money was distributed, I don't have, I don't, I'm sure it was the same way it's distributed, you know, goes from the bottom up to the top. Um, you know, they did things for the Gambinos. Out of fact, Tony Lee was John Gotti's co-defendant. Tony Lee, who was my father's partner, was John Gotti's co-defendant on the case of the Bankers and Brokers Steakhouse when they uh, shot the uh, union president, the Carpenters Union. Um, the Westies shot him, Kevin Kelly, who actually became my cellmate for f four years at School Kill, who was a very dear friend of mine. We housed together in School Kill Federal Prison for years. We were cellmates. Sure, they did work for the Gambinos, and I'm sure they did a lot of work for themselves. And as we know in the mob, when someone says work, they mean murder. So, yeah, that's my history with the Westies. They just were, they were very dangerous people.